Well, it feels like a Monday. Um, it is July 5th, which is actually a Friday. Today we've got a couple drop-offs, a couple pickups. Something that I, I don't know if has ever been covered um, on YouTube is talking about July 4th and what that really means for your dumpsters, uh, for potentially fireworks put into your dumpsters, the what's left over. Um, I know my transfer station yesterday, I saw uh, on their window, they had a sign, and I've seen this before, I remember seeing it now. When I saw the sign, it said, you know, no, no fireworks of any kind. Used, unused, I mean, just everything. Um, obviously, just like maybe a, a burn pile, a burn barrel, they do not want potential remnants of fireworks going off. That is something I, I don't specifically, shouldn't have to, but that's probably why we still have to. Um, I don't have that in my contract. Uh, talking about that, that is... Um, specifically, I know I have generally, I know it's covered generally, but I do want to specifically put the words, you know, any form of fireworks in there. So um, that's something to, uh, to think about for you. Um, if you are, I mean, if you're in America, you're probably having some fireworks going off um, nearby you. So um, that is definitely a thing. And uh, we've got alarms going off, that's excellent. I don't know if this is a federal thing or not, but at least in Indiana, two weeks before, and then I believe it's two weeks after the 4th of July, that we're able to have fireworks going off um, till like late, late at night. Be watchful, be thoughtful around the holidays where you might have some fireworks going off. Uh, make sure you are talking to your customers beforehand about fireworks, about what's potentially you know, could be going into your dumpster. Obviously burn barrels and other things that are just prone to catching on fire, but uh, as crazy as it is, there's still some people who are absolutely going to put used fireworks, the ash, the debris, potentially into a dumpster. All right, so we are on dumpster number three. Um, two deliveries already made. This one was actually one of them. Uh, this guy had a crew of five guys loading up the dumpster. So about two hours later, it was filled up. Fantastic. Um, so this is going to the dump and it's going to be returned. And this guy is thrilled. He is, he is hyped um, about working with a smaller company. The other dumpster that I delivered uh, just before that though, a little further out of town, um, was a customer that we had a misunderstanding um, and if you've <clears throat> if you've watched this channel for, for very long uh, I would hope you know um, when there's a misunderstanding when there's a problem and a, and a breakdown of communication um, it's, it's my opinion and frankly I think it's just the right thing to do as a business owner is to own that problem is to overcompensate for whatever problem arises when that stuff happens. If somebody's trying to scam you, if somebody's trying to take advantage of you, that's another conversation. Uh, but this was a legitimate misunderstanding. She thought I said a 72 hour rental. I didn't. I said I try to, if at all possible, between my windows of delivery and pickup between 7 a.m. and noon, um, usually some pickups are a little bit later than that, but if, if it's possible, um, I try to give as much time as I can. They can keep the dumpster. If, if I drop it off at 1030 on the first day, if I don't have to, and it doesn't work for efficiency, you know, it, you know, making that just forcing it in, then I try to let people have the dumpster until that time, if I happen to remember it, three days later for my rental period. That's not in the contract. I don't have to do that. But I, I, I said that in person to her and she heard the word 72 and she took that to be gospel truth that that's exactly how many hours she gets it. So she made plans with her son to help out to do all this work 
it turned into a mess. I picked up the dumpster before the time that she uh, she made a same day uh, request for a delivery. I delivered it actually in the afternoon time. In this case, I picked it up at like eight or nine on the morning of day four, technically. So she really feels that she only had it for two days and some change. She feels she felt robbed. So she texts me, she had some questions. Hey, what's going on? I thought I was supposed to have this. And uh, just recently, I watched a video by Layla Hormozy. Um, if you've watched Alex or uh, Layla, um, they are not in the dumpster business. They are in the service business. They are, they're buying businesses. Um, they own acquisition.com. Uh, they, they've got more zeros behind them than I can count. <clears throat> um, and <clears throat> good for them <clears throat> because they're killing it. Um, but Layla had put out a video where she had talked about turning angry customers into raving fans. <clears throat> that is that is really difficult to do. Um, and frankly, I don't know if enough people, enough business owners care enough to, to try to do that. If they have an angry customer, eh, whatever. I'm not going to operate that way. Um, that's, that's not how I'm going to do business. And so that video that she made, and along with just how I want to operate in general, um, it really made me think how I wanted to handle this specific situation. Um, Layla, she talked about in her video, making a wrong right doesn't actually get you to having a fan of a customer. She talked about how me, you know messing up in, a, in, in the customer's eyes, making a mistake, and then making up for it, quote unquote, you know, giving an additional day for a dumpster or, or maybe a discount, that doesn't actually make them super excited to work with you again. It makes them not want to hate you as much. Maybe. Um, they, they're not going to be bragging about, this guy was incredible. He took care of the whole situation you know, they're not going to be saying that. So it's it's really more than just making up for the mistake, for the problem, for the whatever you may have done in the business. It's really about going the extra mile. So from the simple terms of, let's say you, you're at a zero, it's a neutral position, um, the situation in your business, you do whatever, something comes up, it's a mistake, you messed up. Now it's a negative one. Well, ideally, when you first started the rental, you were going for a positive one, quite literally, uh, a positive experience. And yet, now you're two numbers away. You've got you've to overcorrect because you did go the wrong way. So the idea of going from a negative one to a zero and then to a positive one you do have to go above and beyond. And frankly, there may be companies out, out there, maybe you're the person, maybe not, I don't know. You're not willing to go above and beyond. That's your choice. I think it's important to think about it either way, if you do or you don't. Um, if you're just not gonna put up with customers, if they do give you a hard time about something small or big, I don't know. But in my mind, in my business, in her, <laughs> In her mind, she thought, I let her down. Um, I misspoke, the contract says otherwise. I didn't actually say 72, but she heard 72. She had plans, it, in, it inconvenienced her and her son who was gonna do some of the work. Um, it's a problem. And the truth is, winning that customer over who will shout my name from the rooftop, who will give me referrals, Every customer is a potential 
free advertisement for your business. Um, I'm about to get to the uh, to the uh, window here at the transfer station. Hold on one second. Sir? How are we doing? Absolutely, Sarah. How about you? I'm recording a video right now. We're living the dream. Oh wow, thank you, sir. <laughs> Alright, so we are headed back to get this dropped off. And uh, this video that I've been talking about, that I've been referencing, it's a 40 minute video. It is slammed with incredible information, thought provoking information stuff. It, it's just, it's really good. I would really encourage you to go watch that video. Um, Layla Hermosi, how to turn an angry customer into a raving fan. That is that is what I want any customer to be, a, a raving fan. Free advertisement. Uh, when you get a referral, you're not just getting somebody who mentioned your name and you're the only name that they're looking to get. That person's reputation is on the line for you. Just like if another dumpster company recommends you to their customer that they can't take care of right now. Um, I've talked about that recently in a, in a Facebook post. So essentially, we're trying to flip this customer. This customer that we already have, they already paid us the money, they've already gotten the dumpster, something inevitably comes up, some way, somehow. And we are left with the option and the question, what are you going to do about it? They're already upset. By the time, and Layla says this, and I, I agree 100%, by the time your customer tells you how angry they are and what's wrong and that they have been wronged by you, that they had to wait until they recognize they've been wronged to, t to come and tell you that they have been, they are probably fuming. Most people don't have the patience, the self-control to breathe and deal with the situation calmly. So dealing with the general public who could be anybody by the time they tell us what has been going on what happened they're already angry we should immediately be coming to them acknowledging their anger being willing and able to say you know what you're right that should not have happened if you immediately go on the aggression and say, no, 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 here's why, blah, 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 contract, contract, contract. It may even be true. You may even be right legally, the whole thing, whatever. However, you've just burned a bridge. You have put them into even more offensive mode because they feel like you have raised your weapons to them. And you've, you've, you've essentially lost the opportunity. Uh, to be able to flip a situation, to turn an angry customer into a raving fan, somebody who's excited, who's just like, you know what? Yeah, there was an issue, but that's that pales in comparison to how they responded, to how they, they dealt with me, how they took care of me, how they made the situation right. The truth is, they may not be expecting a major, major upgrade, free dumpster, discount, extra it may not even be the nth degree but we should be willing to come to them acknowledge what they're saying and say hey what you just said i am so sorry that inconvenienced you that was a problem you know what this should never have happened you are a hundred percent correct we should have done better i should have done better own it this is terrible should never have happened you know what fill in the blank something has to happen this is not right we have got to make this right um Laylee talked about how when you out anger somebody essentially when when they're angry but you get angry with them and you are just as we'll say aggressive <laughs> in uh and how you come across normally they're going to back down that is not normal. Um, when they, when you, when you are able to to be on the same page with them to the degree that you're being angry, you're angry at yourself that it happened. They're going to back down and say, "Well, you know, I mean, it's it's 
not that serious. Yeah, it wasn't good, you know, should have happened, but like, you know, I, I, can we just make it right? Honestly, can we just, can we just take care of it in this way? And I, frankly, with myself and Layla, um, I, I asked the question, what would make it right? With this particular customer, she felt like she was kind of robbed of a couple hours that were pretty crucial due to getting help during those hours. So I asked her, what, what would, what would make this right? How can I, how can I make this better for you? She responded with, could I have one day with a dumpster? That's all I need. Just a little bit of time, a little bit of space. I said, absolutely. I will get you a 10 yard dumpster for one day. Dropped off in the morning between this time and this time. Picked up the next day between this time and this time. She's thrilled with it. She said, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, blah, blah, blah. She's good. That was the dumpster I just dropped off. I spoke with her and I said, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about it and this really was an inconvenience to you, to your son who drove over here. Uh, her adult son, so it's, he's not just, he's not young. This is just not right. Um, I want to go above and beyond. You, you should have had a positive experience from the beginning. You didn't get that. Um, what I want to do for you, besides this dumpster right here for a day, um, what I want to do is give you an entirely free dumpster for three days like I had mentioned about the timing, what my normal timing is for three days, any size, no charge. And if you can't use it, then you can gift this free dumpster to a friend, family member, whoever, at any time. No questions asked. When I said that in person, she, her eyes just kind of, she, she had said, well, you know, the one day is already, you know, I'm already satisfied, satisfied with, with this one day with the 10 year dumpster. And I said, I, I understand that. I, and I really do appreciate that. Um, but I just want you to know, um, I, I do want to go above and beyond and make sure that, that you have been taken care of and that you do get a better experience next time or whoever you may gift this dumpster too that they get an awesome experience um, and uh, certainly at a zero cost uh, to you um, I don't know how many people would do that um, doesn't really matter I guess <laughs> I'm going to do it and I'm, I'm good with that um, that is not a problem for me um, but when I did say that though, she said, well, I'm already satisfied with this one dumpster for the one day. Um, but her eyes just perked up and it's, it's almost like the kid in the candy store who the parent says, all right, I know, you know, you normally get one piece of candy or something, but, uh, today you're going to be able to get, you know, a whole handful, two or three, whatever, you know, I don't know. And it was like the light bulb, turn, I, I could see it. I could see the light bulb turn on in her mind. And she was like, well, it was like now, you know, it's, it's almost like playing poker or something, or I don't know. Um, I don't really do that many card games, but um, you know, like, hmm, now I've got options. It's like when you've got the Joker, you've got the wild card, you've got the whatever, and you're able to go, I can, I can do what I want with this. I can use this in the future. I can give this to somebody. Then she said, oh, is it, is, would it only be for, um, you know, somebody without, within the radius, like 20 miles of Lafayette? Is that okay? And I said, absolutely. 20 mile radius, that's fine. She, she said that number, normally it'd be 15. I'm not gonna nickel and dime her on something that I'm already trying to show I'm going above and beyond. It, it was like a look of wonder in her eye. And being able to see that for me confirmed exactly what I wanted to do, what I wanted to commit to. I'm not just trying to get the bare minimum so they don't hate me and they don't give me less than a five-star review 
but they never hear they, they never contact me again they're never gonna recommend to me like that's not what I'm shooting for and if I if I don't make it initially and get the positive experience the positive one uh, in my little scenario how I see things then I, I want to shoot and go beyond and do as much as I can if we do have a negative initial experience. I've been chewing on this for a little while. This, uh, the original two dumpsters she had rented uh, was a week or so ago, and uh, this, this was a little further off. So I've been, I've been chewing on this. I've been watching that video a lot more recently, um, and just you know, considering, am I really losing money on giving crazy value away for free? to a customer who's now going to be shouting my name from the rooftop saying, whoa, Daniel messed up, but Daniel made it more, more than right. He's really gone above and beyond, you know, I'm not gonna put words in the mouth, but that that's the sentiment I wanna go for. Well, I just had lunch with a buddy who's also a dumpster business owner. Uh, we had a good chat, um, commiserating, you know, situations as we learn and grow in business. Um, good, good to have friends in the industry. Um, I've met friends online. I've met friends in person now. Um, I've gotten referrals from people from online who, you know, recommended me to somebody who lives near them or near near me. Um, just a lot of neat ways to to have community to meet with people to chat with people uh, to build relationships um, one thing that is, is interesting um, this customer I, I just picked up this 10 yard with uh, it's at a uh, uh, mobile home uh, park um, dropped off the dumpster you know same day that they asked uh, in the afternoon he immediately got here in the morning and there was already a bunch of bags in the dumpster from last night because people just wanted to put their trash in his dumpster so he is not thrilled about that he was they were so shocked that I was able to get it to them same day and texted and told them everything that's going on they were thrilled about it and so today I, I picked it up and then I went in and I said hey just can I chat with you a little bit they're renovating the uh, the mobile home and uh, they wanted to uh, well he let me know that they're gonna be renting another dumpster at least at least another one but they were hoping to be able to kind of get it in and out so uh, and you know early morning drop off which is what I would normally do uh, but now that he knows I am so responsive he doesn't have to worry about is that are they ever gonna come like what day is it gonna get here the day he needs it is the day he gets it and ideally as long as it's scheduled it'll be in the morning and he was thrilled about it um, he was pretty pretty upset about this community uh, and what they did uh, they filled up the regular weekly trash pickup and part of his small 10 yard dumpster so not thrilled about that but it's interesting um, the different types you know in dealing with the same exact community that I have back to when I had lunch with my buddy today. He's had opportunities that I I've never even had people ask me for. Um, scrap dumpsters, metal scrap dumpsters. I don't remember anybody ever asking me. I would have said yes as long as it wasn't going to be mega tons and over you know overloading my dumpster with weight. Um, but he's had a number of them in the same essentially the same community, same area. He's been able to do that. Likewise, I've had opportunities that he hasn't. Uh, being able to communicate and chat with him, uh, besides just having a good friend he trusts, able to bounce ideas off each other, talk through stuff, uh, you know, talk about customers that are interesting. Um, it's it's just it's interesting. What, what we see in this business and in life in general. You know, we get to see projects completed. We get to see people in their, maybe their most vulnerable state. Somebody passed away. 
Somebody's moving. Somebody got married. Somebody's going to a retirement home. They're selling their house. Um, there's lots of different situations that come up in this business. And the more I get into it, we're, we're up on four years now. Um, two and some change, side hustle, had a full-time job since last January. So a year and almost, yeah, about half. Um, I have been full-time, this is it. This is the deal. Uh, a year and a half of able to focus. Um, and there's, there's always things that can be improved on uh, and be faster at uh, improving things. But um, it, is, it has been a journey. Um, I'm grateful for the process, grateful to be able to document this. Uh, if for nobody else, for me to reflect on this stuff, I would encourage you, if you don't want to have to edit and do YouTube video stuff, do TikTok, do Instagram shorts, do all, all that kind of stuff, man. Um, document your journey. Share that with the world. It'll make you think through what you're doing. It'll challenge yourself. Um, this has been this has been quite the ride, uh, in a good and bad way. And uh, I am uh, about to stop here. Hopefully, um, I'm excited for what the future holds. Um, it is. It has been interesting. Guys, have a great day. Stay safe and God bless.